let's go back to the qualifier, right? So, um, yeah. you know, I told you guys how we were going out to um, the day before the practice round, right? And then the next day mm-hmm. was the practice round, and then the next day was the qualifier. It wasn't that smooth, yeah. unfortunately. So, um, got there the day before the practice round. I'm losing track of days, so I'm just going to say that. And um, I ended up getting sick, like sick as in like a migraine, um, you know, just bedridden for the whole night of the first night we were there. Um, Canceled dinner reservations, whatever. So that was a tough start mentally, right? Like I'm about to play in the biggest qualifier of my life so far and I'm laying here sick in bed, right? So um, lots of water, lots of Gatorade, ended up you know, kind of getting back on my feet, thank God, um, that night, um, hit a, hit a good practice round, um, shot an 81 in the practice round. And I'm thinking to myself, like, it's not going to do it, but I knew I left a lot of strokes out there. Um, Mm -hmm. and then, um, so felt really comfortable with the course. Like it was fair. Um, it was difficult, but it was, it was like the first time I had played at adaptive yardage, um, and I'm like, dude, I can eat this up if I'm on my game. I was going to say, is that easier for you then? Like, for like sure. Mentally, are you like, dude, I can go chew this for up? For sure. Real quick. Like my strong suit, my strong suit in my game is like not a far drive, but it's like, it's, you know, it's, it, my driver is my favorite club, right? So if I can get to where I don't feel like I need to like kill this ball, right. And I can, and I can have a iron in my hand or even like a wedge sometimes it's game on you know like usually oh, yeah. i'm i'm hitting a three wood when somebody else is hitting like a six iron right so it's it's one of those things where it's like it was such a differently fair battle that i'm like hmm. dude like i have a chance like and yeah and then so um got a good dinner in me um it was, it was a lot more relaxed the night of the qualifier or sorry, the night before the, the round. Mm-hmm. Right. And, um, a lot more relaxed than I thought I'd be, but I'm like feeling good. Right. Like lots of water getting ready to go, but we knew it was going to be tough weather the next day. So mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, just mentally, I can't think about the weather. I just gotta know. I, I gotta tell myself I'm playing right. I can't be thinking mm-hmm. like rain delay, whatever. So we wake up, we get to the course, and a few tee times go off, and weather delay. And I was supposed to tee off at 9.36. Ironically, that's the same tee time I had at the uh, AIM. So I thought, oh, this is going well. Weird. Oh, weird. And uh, <laughs> so, no, 9.36 isn't always lucky. And um, <laughs> so 9.36 comes, right? And we're still on a delay, whatever. But we, I told my dad, I was like, we got to get out of here. Like, I cannot just sit here, right? I said, if it's 930 yeah. right now and people are, you know, I'm going off at at least 1030. If they do it, you know, we had a meeting at like 945 to determine what was happening. So we went to this mall, you know, I'm I'm doing things just to get my mind off of things. We're shopping, whatever. I end up going off at 145 p.m. when I was supposed to go off at 930, right? So... It was super, it, the weather ended up being great. Like, um, we caught a really good stretch. It was super warm. Like, just, I'm like, let's do this, right? I'm ready to go. And um, so it started well. Um, I started on 10. So I think if I remember correctly, didn't have a bogey all nine except on um, on nine, which was 18, right? Because I started on 10. Mm-hmm. So when I made that turn, I was like, it's go time. Like right. we're flying, right. right? Feeling good. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I, uh, bogeyed one, then I'd par, 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 par. And then I, um, I think I just kept parring actually on, on the front nine. And, um, all of a sudden on 16, which is my seven, right? Um, yeah. we were on the green and I'm uh, like lining up my putt, literally standing over the ball, horn blows. And I'm like, mm. no. And that was a par putt. And I was three feet. Like it wasn't anything like difficult. It was almost more nerve wracking that I was three feet rather than like far away. And I was just going to plan on two putting. Right. Yeah. So 
the guys looked at me and they're like super cool guys, by the way, that I'm playing with. And they're like, you can putt that if you'd like, or you can, you know, just pick it up and we'll go see what's going on. Ended up being a tornado warning. So we're like, we're not going back there. Right. So, um, we ended up going back to the hotel. We go get dinner or whatever. Um, so that night, the night when we were having dinner, it was the most confusing, exciting, terrified feeling (laughs) I have ever felt in my life because I refuse to look at the at the scoreboard, right? We were so excited because I had played one of the best rounds of my life so far. But like mm-hmm. business isn't finished, man. Like golf is it's not match play out there. Kobe Bryant job's not done. Exactly. Literally, <laughs> like that's what I was referring to to like my dad and like anybody who was calling me and like, listen, don't don't say you know, don't get excited. And he was doing really good too, because mm-hmm naturally like i wanted to get excited and he was he was you know excited but he was humbling me and um right so this ain't no match play right like i could go out there and it's not like if i just lose the next two holes like i'm still doing good no like i need to keep this score up and to go out there and putt on 16 and then play two more holes like that was really nerve-wracking so whatever, get a good dinner, go, go to bed, wake up and, um, ended up making the par putt and going into 17, I bogeyed it. Then I'm like, oh, dude, no, like that's, that's brutal. And then nine, which was my 18 is a decently short par five. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna birdie this motherfucker. Like, I, you know, like I'm, I'm telling myself, <laughs> I'm, we've all been I'm there. We going down right to two. Like, I am not finishing this tournament three over. And hit a good drive, hit a great uh, three wood. I'm like sixty yards out, and um, I throw a decent chip in there. And then obviously I have that video of that final putt, and uh, ended up making it for a birdie. So dropped down to two and when the score is updated right like when i turned in my card because like i said it it had me through 13 the guy told me he was like dude you were one stroke away from going to a playoff to winning the whole qualifier that's so sick it was was the most surreal like (laughs) the dude looked me in the eyes like thinking i'm like doing this casually normally i'm like oh dang you know oh, cool, yeah. and then i'm like i shot a 74 like holy shit you know so it's like oh, yeah, well, well, so <laughs> i you know obviously like looking back at it now i'm like dang that would have been like really cool to go to that um playoff but in the moment dude i was just like so thrilled to have you know kind of secured that 74 and two over and um so you know obviously i got the email afterwards that i was in and that was that was pretty sick. But the t- part that wasn't sick was that our flights in the morning, because we had to play the next day, we missed, and we had to drive home ten hours. So, Oof. yeah, but ten hours, ten hours is a sweeter deal when you set out to do exactly why you were out. Let there. me tell you that. I mean, that ten hour ride would have <laughs> sucked if I didn't finish <laughs> yeah. yeah, 10 hours in a confined box knowing that you, oh, oh God, that would have fucked But it, it was, it was really like, it felt so quick with all the phone calls and stuff I was getting. Um, oh, absolutely. And, you know, like, this is just an experience that I couldn't even, you know, put a price on. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.